This video will list the top five Siege PvP generals as of February 2023. This is not the free to play version of this video, so it will include some generals that are difficult to obtain. These generals will require substantial purchases to achieve their maximum potential. If that's not for you, check out the free to play version of this video. One other important note about these generals before we get started. While the generals included here are not necessarily free to play, there are events these days that allow you to acquire some of them much more easily than before. Technically, this is not free to play and you may be limited by how often you can get enough points to get a premium general. So you may want to focus on one premium general for one troop type and have the rest as free to play. If you do decide to spend, consider using the Amazon App Store. The Amazon App Store now has a landing campaign page that details all the information needed for purchasing through their store. Clicking this link will take you to a page with download instructions and also direct links to the coins that can be purchased for a discount. Clicking these links to check out the discounts or using these links to go directly to your purchase helps support the channel directly, so I greatly appreciate you taking the time to do so. Now back to the top 5 PvP Siege General list. The considerations made for the selection of these generals are Siege Attack, Siege Defense, Siege HP, March Size, and in some cases, unique attributes such as debuffs are also considered. Since this video is focused on the usage of these generals as the primary, it will consider General Ascension and Specialty. Number 5. Ulysses S. Grant Grant's skill increases Siege Attack by 30% when a dragon is equipped. This skill is active offensively and defensively. Grant is the only free-to-play general to make the top 5 overall. He has decent buffs and his skill adds the versatility of being offensive and defensive. The downside to Grant is that to be fully effective, you will need to equip him with a dragon. Grant is comparable to Napoleon and Ramses II that did not make this list. He has higher march size and better defense than Napoleon, though his attack is slightly lower. Napoleon is only fully effective when attacking though, so Grant gains some ground there by being able to reinforce. Ramses II has higher attack and HP than Grant, as well as being similarly versatile. However, Ramses II has lower defense than Grant, as well as a very limited march size. There's also the consideration that Grant is much easier to upgrade when compared to Napoleon and Ramses. Grant places 11th in overall siege attack, 9th in siege defense, and 15th in siege HP. Grant is available in the tavern. Number 4. Philip II Philip's skill increases siege attack by 25% when attacking and increases rally capacity by 10% when you are setting the rally. This skill is only active when used offensively. Philip is the go-to choice if you are the main rally setter as he can increase the rally capacity by 15%. Serena might have also been a good choice for the 4th or 5th position, but with Ulysses S. Grant already on the board, Serena is a bit redundant and a lot harder to obtain. Philip II's buffs are respectable, but unless you are setting the rally, you should be looking at other premium generals instead. He's a great general, but there are better ones out there. Philip II ranks 3rd in attack, 7th in defense, and 5th in HP. Number 3. Septimius Severus Severus's skill increases siege attack by 35% and siege HP by 20%. This skill is active when used both offensively and defensively. His overall buffs and his march size are all extremely high. Unfortunately, due to the nature of his primary skill, a siege attack skill book cannot be added to further increase his attack. Still, this general is very, very good, and he is also versatile. Septimius Severus places 4th in overall siege attack, 2nd in siege defense, and 4th in siege HP. Number 2. Petronus Petronus' skill increases Siege Attack by 40% and Siege Defense by 20%. This skill is only active offensively. Petronus comes with strong overall buffs for Siege and an above average March Size. He's an excellent pick for an offensive Siege General, but offensive only. His primary skill and some of his Ascension buffs are specific to Marching, so he would not be a good choice for Reinforcement. Still, if what you are looking for in a general is his ability to throw punches, Petronus is not a bad choice at all. Petronus comes in 2nd for attack, 3rd for defense, and 2nd in HP. Number 1. Zuka. Zuka's skill increases Siege Attack by 40% and Siege HP by 35%. This skill is only active offensively. When it comes to offensive Siege power, Zuka is unparalleled. 
When fully maximized, he is an absolute beast. Zuka has the highest siege attack and defense in the game when it comes to attacking. He might be a difficult general to obtain, but if you have the means to max him out, he's going to be a scary general to be on the wrong side of a battle. Zuka places first in overall siege attack, first in defense, and third in HP. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.